welcome back to our YouTube channel. Wait. Welcome back, Jevin Vlog. Okay, y'all, I have a question. Do y'all want to be called like Jevin Vlogs or like the Jevinators? <laughs> <laughs> like, because I know some, though, some YouTube girls were like, Welcome back, Jevin Vlog. So today, um, we're going to do eight questions that interracial couples are commonly asked. Things that we're asked all the time that we get tired of hearing. Like, we don't get asked like all these questions all the time, but like, these are supposed, supposedly supposed to be eight questions that interracial couples are tired of hearing of. So, as an interracial couple, we're gonna see. Right. So, First question. Question number one. How does your family feel about your partner's race? So I get I get that question every time yeah, I, I, get, I, get I tell somebody, lot. oh I date a white boy. Right. Now how's your how's your parents? Like how's, how's your is your, your family okay with it? Right. But um honestly I'm blessed to have a family that's loving, um, that loves everybody, so my family was accepting. I think living as a military brat, like my, my family's in the military, like I meet different people all the time, so like they didn't expect like I was gonna date like I'm like like they didn't know who I would end up falling in love with. Like I've lived everywhere, so like it yeah. could have been they didn't have like they don't they love everybody. And I think since we're both Christians, like we love everyone, so like it wasn't that we hated it. Yeah. I definitely think that it was kind of a shock to my parents just because nobody in my family is really diverse at all. Like oh, my family my my family is like, your family is pretty much all black and mine is pretty much all white. So yeah. it was a shock to them, but they were I also think, accepting But no, but I think it was a shock to your parents because like I said, I'm in the military, so I lived on bases that were like mixed. But Evan like comes from like a small town that's predominantly white. Right. So it's not like they're racist, but that's just like who they all, like everybody's like white. And so I'm from a town that is 15 minutes from New Orleans. So my town is predominantly white, but you know, New Orleans has a lot of black culture involved in it. Um, New Orleans is, I don't know if it's predominantly black, but it is very, you know, very influenced yeah, by black culture yeah. um, wherever you go. So it's like my small town is predominantly white, but step 10 minutes outside and it's a predominantly black area. So it's not like I'm in this, my own little world, you know, but it's. Like it, you it's, grew up, which is like. Okay. Right, but where I grew up, like the high school, I went to where it's kind of racist. Right, the high school I went to was predominantly yes. white. Um, yes. so, so, you know, and we did, we went to public school together, but it was predominantly white. But yeah. Kind of got off track. That was but, a good question. Right, but thankfully, my parents, you know. Yeah, they, both they of our families them. love each other and they love us together. You are dating a black or white person. Aren't you worried about their country? Oh, wait. Like a stereotype. From oh, are you, you're dating a white or black person. Aren't you worried about their like a stereotype. Like a stereotype. So it'd be like, like I'm like somebody asked me, Evie, you you're dating a black woman. Aren't you worried about whatever a black woman stereotype? Black women are angry. Or something <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? Like a stereotype. Oh yeah, yeah. Honestly though, I, I don't get that. <laughs> Y'all so lost. Okay. Oh, I think it's. No, it's not okay. So I just know um, we've had people that that say like, oh well. I can never see Evan dating. Oh him. yeah, like I, I can, can I can never see Evan dating a black girl. What does right. that mean? Like, but before me and Jory were were best friends. Well, yeah, we were friends. And people would say all the time our personalities like mixed together so well, like we we were perfect for each other. Um, but then when we started dating, we had people who started to say like, oh, well, I can never see Evan dating a black girl. But it's like, how are we perfect as friends, but we're not perfect, as, you know? Exactly. So I, I truly believe because it was nothing about the personality; it was just simply a racist statement. If Jory was white, then they wouldn't have said anything. They wouldn't have said anything because that's, that's those wrong. are the same people that loved me. Like, I was, I'm always, my whole life, I've been like the example, not like the, the, exception. Um, the exception. Like, oh yeah, but Jory, like, you're good. Like, I guess because I'm not ghetto, which is so stupid because, like, every black like, person's not ghetto. Right. But I guess because I'm not like, like, the stereotypes of black girls, like, I've always been like white. So like I was fine to hang out with y'all and like we can go to sleepovers and you can I could be around your family but as soon as I date one it's like oh right. you going too far now like, right. so so but honestly like I really wasn't worried about the stereotypes because I was friends with Jory before yeah like we were friends I first I like I knew I don't know stereotypes of white oh I guess like aren't you worried you ain't got no swag but you had swag for a white boy. I guess, I mean, of course I will fit some white stereotypes and you'll fit some black stereotypes, but I feel like oh, we're wait, our own people. Oh, wait, what's you fit? I don't know. Like, stereo what are white people stereotypes? Oh, like, oh y'all love cheese. Y'all are, y'all are nerdy. Y'all know how to swag. Y'all don't know how to cook. He know how to cook, though. That's what I'm saying. He knows some seasoning. He know how to put, <laughs> he ain't stingy with that seasoning. 
All right, so next question. Wouldn't it be easier just to date your own race? So. Well, yes, but guess what? It would be, but. It would be easier, but I love who I love. I'm not dating somebody just because they race. I didn't, and like, that's a misconception. People think I picked you because you're white. Like, I need, no. Right. I just felt, I just so happened to fell in love with somebody who's white, but like, I'm not gonna be like, oh, that's hard. And it's not even like hard, like, it's not like I wake up and just like, <gasps> another hard right. day. Right. Well, I have, we might go through things that I might not, would go, wouldn't go through if I was dating a black person. I mean, it's not like I can't go to the store. Right. I agree, I agree. I, it's probably, it probably was harder, especially in those times, because I feel like interracial marriage got, became legal like 70, 60 years ago, which was like not that long ago. But it's 2019. Right. And I mean, we still go through things, we get looks, especially being in the South, but yeah. it's, I wouldn't change anything. South remarks, I, like, I would never change a thing. Um, having I, to worry about it. Right. I fell in love with Jory, and I wouldn't change a thing about that. But think of the children. Aren't you worried they will be bullied? If we if we happen to get married, Jory, and we have kids, if I we happen to. I mean, you know I want to marry you, but. I'm just playing. <laughs> But this no. is the video of what y'all know if we're engaged. No, I ain't worried I'm about not worried about it because our, our kids are going to be loved so much by us. Yes. And I know that. And by our families. That's all that matters. Right. The next question is Do you only date um, black women or for Jory? Do you only date white men? And the answer to that is no. I've always been open to dating. Whoever. But I'm his first black girl. Yes. I've never, you know, I, I've never dated a black woman before Jory. And that also is because growing up in a predominantly white town, there wasn't that many. <laughs> I've always been open to dating black women, but it's not like I have a fetish like, oh, I only choose black women, I only. You know, it's like since dating Jory, I definitely do like, you know. You notice black women more? I think, yeah, I guess. You I feel like that. now, like you like. I've always, I've always found black women attractive, but I just never dated one because I never, you know. I so you were like in a small, Bell Chase, like a small, predominantly white thing, like that's like right. all you Like I go, I go to the mall and the mall might be predominantly black people there and I see black women and think they're beautiful, but of course I didn't know them personally. And I was, I'm shy, so you know. Yeah, Evan's a typical guy. But, um, he needs to know your heart. Thanks. But no, so, the, the answer basically is no. I date whoever, but. Yeah, I only like white men. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I obviously, like, my family knows this. Like like I said, I lived everywhere. When we moved to Japan, I loved me some Asians. When I saw an Asian boy, I was like, he cute. I always thought whoever was cute, I would date them. I've dated Asian, Hispanic, Black, Quats. Honestly, like, I've been boy crazy since kindergarten, and every race, I've liked, I've liked every single race. There's always been somebody cute in every race since kindergarten. This next question I feel like pertains more to Jory because I know people do ask her this and it's somebody asking Jory like, can you help me find a white man? Oh yeah, like, oh the question like, can you help me find like, one? Does Evan have a brother? Oh does my Evan god, every brother? time, especially it happens with my sisters, the black girls out there, every time like some black woman doing my hair, my lashes, any type of service and I don't know them and like my lock screen has me and Evan on it and they'll see like a white guy, they're like, he cute, like, mm -hmm, girl. I tried white before, like, can you get me one? I'm just like, do you think, like, I have, like, this vault? And I'm just like, okay, like, let me find you one. Like, it's crazy that some people think, like, it's like they don't think we fell in love like a normal couple. Yeah. Like, it's not like, I mean, I know people do be like, oh, let me have your brother or something. But they don't even say that. They're like, can you get me a white man? Like, I can't. Like, you like it's a You game wouldn't say to another black person, like, oh, can you get me a black man? You would just be like, oh, girl, does he have a brother or something? Right. But like, it's like, they act like I know like every white man and like I just have a vault and I can just, like an app and I can choose them. Like, right. People really do think that. Like, like they think, really think. Like, oh, like, Evie, you, you chose to date a black girl because, like, no, I chose to date Joy because, one, I think she's beautiful, too, because I fell in love, love with, with the person. But I, it's not like, it's not like I saw a list of like, <laughs> give me a list of black women and I'm gonna choose my favorite. You know, it, it's not like that. No, it's, it's like, never like that. You know, so, but people really do think that. No, people think it's do. a game. Do people stare at you when you go on dates? And the answer to that is yes. Mm -hmm. Anywhere we go, people are gonna stare. Sometimes it's negative, sometimes it's positive. Like we've had times where I've had multiple people, whether it's young, it could be young people, even like a few old men came up to me. Um, 
and we'll be walking together and they'll come and shake my hand and be like, like y'all are a beautiful couple. I really love this. Like y'all, even before we had a YouTube, like, man, do y'all have a YouTube channel? Y'all look like a beautiful. YouTube like I love this. This yeah. this like stop us. Like anywhere right. we go, and I know it's because we're interracial and probably because we're attractive. Thank you, Jesus, for the jeans. Because like I feel like if I was just dating like a black, I gotta see couples all the time. I know that doesn't just happen. Like right. they'll be like, I love this. Wow, y'all are beautiful. I love y'all together. Right. And I think it's because we're interracial, but most most of it is positive. Like it's not. We do get a lot of positive. We get a people. lot of positive. There is, of course, there's negative, but yeah, um, you have those negative looks or people looking like. But I find that a lot of times people just aren't bold. I've heard people say stuff under their breath, but nobody's bold enough to come up to us and be like, like this is terrible. But sometimes I I would like to say I'm always kind of on guard. Like one time we were sitting down at a restaurant. And we saw it like an old white man. And okay, old white, old white people a lot of times are the ones that give us the stares that don't agree with us. And we're sitting down in a restaurant and an old white man like was staring at us from a distance. And I saw him start to walk towards us and I was like, oh Lord, like I know he's about to say something, like what's gonna happen? And he came up to us and or he came up to Jory and was like, you are the most beautiful woman. Like, and then he looked at me and was like, you are such a lucky guy, like this and that. And he just continued to speak like positively about us. And they weren't sexy. I wasn't expecting I that because I was ready. To, I was ready. Like he was coming over here, and I was kind of mugging him. Like, <laughs> what is he about to say? And he walks up and says that. And I'm telling you, it, it it made my heart smile. Like, it's the negative side, but it's also positive. Yeah, we get a lot of positive. And if it's negative, it's just because this girl wants you, and she's just like, mm. she got him. And I'm just like, yes. Right. Or like, or like a lot of a lot of black black men will like look at you. And they think you're fine, and I could hear some of them sometimes like, man, the, but she was a white boy, and she, you know, like see, like how, how he get hurt for this and that, and it's like, you know, no. it's it's whatever because at the end of the day, you mine. Right. So <laughs> basically, that was all eight questions, but. We do plan on making more videos about being an interracial couple. I don't think like that's our channel like oh but we are interracial and that is that's who a part we are. Of like ours. we can't hide it. We get a lot of questions about it. People ask us questions like this on a daily and I know m most couples I know regular couples don't get these questions. Like so we are interracial, like that's part of our brand, that's who we are. So I mean it's highly requested, so we might as well get some clout from it. Thank y'all for watching this video. If y'all like this video there is another article with 10 questions that are totally different from these. If y'all want us to do that again, we can. But if you like this video, share it with your grandmother, share it with your granddaddy, share it with your cousins, put it on live, put it on your Facebook, your Instagrams. Shout us out, you know what I'm saying? You heard me? Like, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to share. Please subscribe and like and comment. We love feedback. We want to know what we need to do different, which I love about us. Yes. Oh,